Welcome back, YouTube fam, to another episode on D Pads Daily. Today I am recording from home for the first bit. I just want to say thank you so much. You guys have, as always, you know, poured your love by watching our videos, commenting, liking, and subscribing to our channel. It means the world to me, really. And you, your support has really, you know, made both Unity and me to keep going, come up with new content, to keep you guys entertained. You guys are the you guys are the force that pushes us. So I really want to thank you. Uh, lots have been going on. You guys uh, watched our tile selection episode that we uploaded maybe a couple weeks ago. Those tiles are actually getting installed in our units right now. So I'm going to take you guys there uh, after. I'm just uh, making coffee right now, getting ready for the day. As you can see behind me, our home is in uh, full Christmas spirit as we get closer to Christmas and the holiday season. We got the tree, all the presents are here. We still have to wrap them. We got a few kiddos in our family. Well, most of them are not kids anymore. They're, they have adulted, but still to us, they're kids who we get presents for. So that's what we'll be doing. We have a friend's Christmas party this weekend and we're doing a bit of secret Santa. So Santa came to us and gave us a chit of person who we are supposed to get a gift for. So Unity has one of our friends and I have a different one. Uh, we did tell each other who we got. <laughs> Couldn't hide it for too long from her. So this weekend we'll have a good time with our friends. Uh, it'll be, we'll be in Christmas spirit wearing our ugly Christmas sweaters. And then the weekend after, so we host our yearly uh, family Christmas uh, get together at our place. But, and this year is not going to be any different. But this year won't be much of a party. It's just more so get together and spending time with family. I recently lost my grandpa a couple uh, couple weeks ago. He was in old age and had a lot of health issues. But he was in he lived his life uh, uh, quite fully, and I, I was lucky to spend a lot of time with him and cherish a lot of memories for the rest of my life. Uh, what the times I got to spend with him. He even visited us in Canada a couple times. So we're fortunate. My parents are actually in India right now. Uh, luckily, they were able to get there a week before his passing when he got admitted. So they actually got to spend some good uh, uh, last few days with him. So I think, so I'm sure they are, they're happy about that. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's the first death of a close family member in my life and it's definitely been tough uh, because I was really close to my grandpa too but you know we we knew it was coming he was sick and we're almost relieved at the end you know that because he was suffering he was suffering a lot so we're all kind of glad that uh, he's at peace now and in the heavens but that being said my the microwave just beeped I'm gonna go get my coffee. Let's go make it. I'll show you because I, I think I do it differently than most people. Let me show you what I mean. So I take a full glass of milk. I know some people like to drink it black. I've tried that, I like that too. But we take, this is common in Indian households. I take a full glass of milk and then I'll take maybe a spoon of coffee. Maybe a little bit more. I don't like the coffee taste to be too strong. Too much there you go and now we've been trying to eat healthier too so maybe just like this much sugar is good and that's about it coffee is ready you know I used to be a huge masala chai drinker uh, the Indian style but what that did to me you know it used to always give me really severe acid reflux so I had to stop but anytime somebody asks me if I want tea, I'm always I'm always a go. Uh, let me take let me take it outside. It's a deceiving type of a day out here. Look at the sun beaming on my face. It's a beautiful day. I love the fact that our home, you know, has this in the backyard. It's really peaceful. We got a lot of sunlight coming in, especially because we have these large windows and then this door and then a window here. 
So we have a lot of natural light coming into our home. If you've been watching our videos for a long time, you know, like we are huge fans of natural light, even in all of our new builds, we incorporate, you know, big windows, large openings that can have a lot of daylight coming in. And I think everybody who walks into our units appreciate that too. But yeah, now I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, have some breakfast, and then uh, let's go to site. I'm on site now, but looks like the tile guys have finished for the day. Uh, I think they have some grout work left to do. But what I see is the railing guy is still here, finishing one of the other units. And then we have carpenters who are starting later today as well. So it's gonna be a busy day here. Uh, let me take you around the outside first, and then we'll go inside and take a look at uh, what's happened since the last episode. So as you can see, the exterior is pretty much complete, except the stone that's left to go on the outsides. But other than that, all the siding is done, soffits are completed. My rainwater leaders, the drainage is still left. What do you guys think about this blue with the light gray uh, color combination? Let me show you from the side view. This is the first time we did this color scheme, but we like it. We think it pops, especially with the white trims. It looks really nice. That's our unit. You enter from here. But before we go in, we'll walk to the side. This is our furnace venting and our hot water tank and all that fun venting stuff. This is gonna be our sump uh, drainage here. That's our power meter, which keeps track of how much power we're using. And then they send us a bill and that's the gas meter. This has been used quite a bit right now with uh, temporary heaters we have. Uh, one thing if you're in construction, these are two things that can really delay your project a lot if you don't plan ahead. Right now, the gas meter application is taking about eight weeks to process and probably another eight weeks until they actually come and install it. The power meter, not so bad, but it's still you should count four to six weeks to actually get it. So plan ahead for these meters. I usually like to apply for them right when I'm applying for the building permit itself. This is not going to be open land forever. These are commercial plazas at the back. There's going to be like an apartment building, a small size apartment building going over here, four stories. I'm uh, not sure when, but sometime in the future. And here we have our two temporary heaters going on. These have been uh, giving me trouble this time around, especially that one. It kept uh, tripping every couple of nights and I would have to come and turn them on. Uh, so it wasn't uh, being uh, being nice. So we actually ended up getting replaced. It used to be the same one, but now they put this big heavy duty one. As you can see, the we're putting the heat in the basement because heat rises up. We did have it in the on the main floor before, but it made the units too warm. And now we have railing going in, and I'm told that too much heat can really dry up the units and dry up the railing, causing it to you know crack and split. And we don't want that. So that's the back of the house. So in the future, the home buyers can do a deck over here. You can do 12 feet wide by 12 feet. Uh, but we're, we're not doing it right from the get-go. Trying to keep our sale price down, especially in this market right now. This is our side view, that's our basement window. We have two of these uh, in each unit. That's the door from the side entry. I'll show you from the inside as well, but you know, if you have tenants in the future, if you develop the basement suite, they can enter from here. So they're, so that you're never, you know, bumping into your tenants uh, at all, you know, on a daily basis. So you get your own privacy, your own space. And we're back to the front. We've tried to keep the site as tidy as we can. There's some extra material sitting here. Soon I'll have to get it all cleaned out and made, clean out any of the mess, any of the extra material. This is the garage. You can fit two cars in here. I really pushed hard uh, to get the exteriors completed on this project, especially because winter, you know, we, it was coming. It was right around the corner. 
and having the next year done gives such a it gives such a relief to us builders and site managers and so on because your home is protected it's insulated it's going to stay warm uh, there's not going to be any water seeping through so that's a big mental relief that we get uh, so I'm glad the exterior got done in a timely manner before the cold came but now let's uh, let's go to the exciting part let me take you inside we have these metal ramps placed this is for good grip especially in icy conditions and I can even do this take off any snow or mud from the bottom of my shoe so I don't drag it in with me this is our Tulsi model I'll take you guys through this one today and then we'll do the next one the next door another time so you enter from this door and you have a closet for your guests to hang their coats and so on and then here that's your door to the garage and if you go in here that's your mudroom area so this can be your broom closet you can keep your broom or we'll even give a shelf up above so you can even use this as a coat rack same thing on this side another closet so lots of storage and this will be the washroom let me see if there's lights yep so this will be your powder room yeah so toilet will go there sink here you probably noticed already you can see tiles the reason they have so many like brush marks is because they put grout and then i think they wiped over it so these ones we didn't really change we kept them the same as our previous unit because we really like them and this is a modern unit so we have uh, black trims, um, dark gray cabinets. So here, you know, in the kitchen, we'll have cabinetry going from here, for this whole wall. There's gonna be an island over here with the sink. And there's gonna be the fridge there. Over here is the pantry. So I don't know how you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's gonna be four shelves on this wall and then four shelves on this wall. It's about 30 linear feet of storage, which is pretty good uh, pantry size. It should store most of your things. As you can see, a lot of material sitting around. We have our doors, baseboards, casing, MDF sheets for our shelving all over here. Our carpenters coming today, as I said, they're starting today to hang some of these doors and, and by next week they'll complete. So now you know you're I'm giving you an update at this stage because you really see you really start seeing the house come together with the finishing touches going on. Check out our railing with the metal spindles. We only did this little section with the metal spindles just to give that open feeling in this whole space. Because if we close this off as a stub wall too, it might it might block off uh, that open feeling. And up there, we just have the standard wall mount railing. Over here, this is our entry to the basement. So there will, there will be a door that goes here. And as you open it, that's your side entrance door that I was showing you guys on the outside. So let's say you develop the basement and you want to rent it out. Your tenants come in from there and gives you guys both privacy so you don't have to uh, see each other's face every morning as you're getting up. <laughs> But yeah, this is our living space. So that's gonna be the dining area right beside the kitchen. You can fit a six people table horizontally. And this is the living room, which you can't really tell much of since these doors are blocking it. But it's a decent sized living room. There's gonna be a, there's a wall at the back which has the electric fireplace. So it's a nice uh, cozy unit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of this main floor uh, that I just showed you. But let's go upstairs. I love this railing. So this is maple wood with metal brackets here. So we get this painted for uh, to keeping it for keeping it cost effective. But if you want an upgraded finish, you can even stain this. I know a lot of people are a fan of uh, stained finish. That's an option. But as you come up, you enter into the bonus room area. So this could be your family, 
is private entertainment area. You can have a TV up here or your gaming console and your couch. And then right across it, we have the laundry room. This is probably the biggest laundry room, not because it's just my unit, but I think it's one of the biggest laundry rooms I've seen that a duplex provides. And it's on the upper floor, so it's convenient. It's pretty large size. We're gonna give a shelf up top for keeping any extra detergents or uh, towels or whatever, right? What you see here on the tiles, these are called spacers. And as the name suggests, they make sure the tiles are spaced out equally. So they're gonna leave it, leave it on for a day until the tiles are properly settled to the subfloor underneath and they don't move anyone and they'll take these out and then fill these lines with grout. Pretty cool. And then this is our entrance to the master bedroom. And right as you enter, on the left you have your ensuite. I wish uh, they didn't have these marks on the tile. You guys could probably tell a little bit better how they look. But on the right, as you enter, you have his and her sink and the toilet over there. And across from it, you have a freestanding tub. So there won't be any shower here. It's just purely a tub with tiles around. The blue walls you see, this, was, this is our waterproof drywall. It's usually done around tubs and showers like this, so if water does splash on them, it's not gonna ruin the drywall and eat it up. And this is our shower. It's a nice cozy shower. This tile is one of my favorites. Like We only did it for the first time on our previous unit. But I like this design. It really gives it the premium look. And that's kind of what I wanted. Especially in the master bedroom, you want the homeowners to feel really premium when they're in here, you know, using the ensuite. And then right across from the ensuite, it's a large walk-in closet. So you walk in, you'll have, I think, one shelf here with long hanging. You'll have a double shelf going for two short hanging. Yeah, it's quite large. I don't know, what do you guys think? Because I think master closets, they need to be a good size. The homeowners can put all their clothes. A lot of times our home buyers they joke around when they walk in, the wife usually claims the master closet and then tells the husband that they'll have to use one of the kids' bedroom at the back. Use that as their closet. <laughs> and this is your master bedroom. This is about 14 by 14. You can easily fit a king size bed with two night tables. We've done a tray ceiling here. So up here, there'll be a fancy LED light that goes in. So if you don't want this center light fixture on, you can just have those ones on. And it'll give you a nice uh, romantic atmosphere in the bedroom. And then you have a large window. So you can wake up to the sunlight, uh, the morning sunlight. Lots of construction going around. There's like about 15 units that they build here. Even neighboring to us, all the homes are getting built. On the left of mine, there's so much construction going on. So I think in a couple of years, this neighborhood will be packed with new homeowners. And then as we exit out of the master bedroom, we walk across. Then we have the main bath here, which will be for the kids that they can use. So the tiles are done here as well. There's gonna be a sink here, toilet, and then a tub. We have a linen closet right across it, which will, which will have four shelves. So you can put extra towels or sheets, anything like you want. That's our large window on the side of the house. We'll have a, a long hanging chandelier here. When the neighbors peeping into your home, they can see a nice uh, chandelier. 
And here we have two bedrooms for the kids. They're pretty standard size. You can fit a queen bed uh, with probably one night table on one of, the, one of the sides. And then they have their own closet. And a nice view of their own. Let's, uh, I've showed you guys the upper floor and I've showed you the main. Let me take you to the heart of the home, into the basement. Let's go. I desperately need to get cleaners in here. Uh, generally, we get our first clean done after my carpenters have finished their first stage, which is installing those doors and window casing and so on. Here we have the heater blowing hot air. Insulation, extra tiles sitting there. So right now it looks quite messy. That's our electric panel. Very nicely organized, clean looking. You wanna make sure that these cables are clean like this, not all over the place. And then you wanna make sure that your panel is marked with what each breaker does for, it's for which room. So good job there. That's gonna be our main water line to the house. And then over here, that's our ventilation system, HRV. And this bad boy right here is our furnace, which has not been turned on yet, but I do want to start using it in the next couple of days and send that bad boy back because it's really expensive to use. And generally we turn on the furnace after our drywall and texture is completed. That's how our mechanical rooms looking. But yeah, this is where all your magic happens of your home. All your main controls, main uh, systems that run your home are in the mechanical room, in the basement area. That's why I call it the heart of your home. I hope you enjoyed taking this tour with me and spending the day in my life. I will try to do more of these and keep you guys updated with what's going on in my life. I do more frequent videos on my shorts. I know some of you don't like watching them and you enjoy the longer versions more. But if you do want to stay connected with me, that's another option for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with some feedback if you saw a thing or two that I can improve on or if I missed something that you want me to cover next time. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more regular content. This is just the beginning. Thank you.